Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willelaine, and we're here at the Nordic Film Festival, right here at the Scandinavian House, and I'm here with Ben Cora, and he is one of the filmmakers, and he's going to talk about his film, Creditors. Yes. Tell my audience what the story is all about, the synopsis. Yeah, so Creditors is originally a play by Strindberg, who was a Swedish playwright, and it's about uh, a man uh, who shows up at a hotel in the middle of nowhere and starts talking to this painter, and out of that conversation, very innocent conversation, uh, some secrets come out and some stuff is revealed that then spirals down into mayhem and drama and tears for everyone. My goodness. Oh yes. It's very intense. Very Scandinavian and very, um, yeah, very black very and white. Very clandestine. Yes. Yes, baby. Yes. That's right. If you want to find out more information about the film, yeah. where can we go? Does it, do you have a website? Yes. Yeah, so you can go to um, creditorsfilm.com for the main website. You can go on Facebook in front of that. Uh, so Facebook uh, forward slash creditors. You can go to Twitter um, and follow us there. Creditors Film at Creditors Film. We're also on Instagram at Creditors the Film. So you can find about us all over the place. You can just Google and you'll see all those links come up. And we can find you too. Of course, Do you have yeah. a website? I don't have a personal website, but you can find out stuff about me if you Google me. Um, I, again, Ben Kira. Um, so yeah. Tell my audience what inspired you to create this film. Right, so I saw it um, in London at the Donmar Warehouse. It was being revived by Alan Rickman, who um, did a wonderful job, um, and I was absolutely awestruck by his, his uh, revival. And he brought it over here in New York at the uh, uh, Brooklyn Academy of Music in 2010. Um, and again, it was received, you know, everyone loved it, and then the reviews raved about it. Um, but I, I didn't specifically sort of sit down and go, I'm going to make it until two years later, where it somehow just kept sort of coming back, and I just kept thinking about it. And I sat down and I found uh, a translation by Ed, uh, Edwin Björkman, who was a Swedish um, translator, um, who did a translation back in 1903, so it was a really old date of translation. But it was, uh, it was just what I needed, sort of the, the beginning uh, to sort of get me going. And from then on, I kept rewriting and adapting and thinking, how am I going to do this? Where am I going to set it? And fast forward five years later, and here we are. And here we are at That's the right. Nordic Film Festival. Yeah, baby. Fantastic. One more time, the yes. website. Creditorsfilm.com, uh, Facebook forward slash creditors, and follow us on Twitter at, at creditorsfilm. Well, as we say in show business in the United States, yes. break a leg. Well, thank you very much. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews right here on the red carpet at the Nordic Film Festival. Keep watching the champagne kisses. Another filmmaker right here at the festival. Introduce yourself to the camera. Okay, my name is Heiko Deutschmann, and I'm the filmmaker who made a film which is called One Last Sigh Before Nightfall. Oh, interesting. Tell my what is the synopsis of the film. It's about two long-time um, unemployed who meet at the bus to go to Finland. The bus breaks down, and they have just to fix it in a way to get there. Oh, interesting. It's a short film. Now, what made you decide this is an interesting storyline? What made you decide to do this particular storyline? Well, to be honest, it was the two characters of the long-time unemployed, which I wanted to tell and which I wanted to, to write and then direct, make a film of it. Is this your first film or have you done many others? No, it's my first film. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to see it. Yes, you have And to. maybe you might win an award tonight. Maybe. You never know. You, you never know. Right. Tell my audience if we want to find out more information about the film. Do you have a website? I have a website, which is das vierte Element dot de, which is a German film. Um, you can find the film um, on IMDb, and then you have a link to the to the homepage. The name again? The name is One Last Sigh Before Nightfall. Compelling. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank You're you welcome. so much for talking to Thank me. You. We'll be back in a moment. More filmmakers right here on the red carpet. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and I'm here with these two interesting filmmakers who uh, created this. You are.
by the founders, am I correct? That is correct, yeah, Lenny Larson and I uh, created this festival, and this is the first year we're running Nordic International Film Festival. Now you're also the creative director, are you the creative director of the uh, film festival? Yes, I am, and I'm also head of the programming, so I've been sort of overseeing the programming process for the festival. Now this is the first annual uh, Nordic International Film Festival. Tell my audience what inspired you to create this festival. Well, we really wanted to showcase independent film in New York City, and it, is, it has been done, and we knew we could do it even more so by having a collaboration between Nordic countries and American countries coming together, because we've been seeing that a lot of Nordic films have been shot over here in a collaboration using the Scandinavian beautiful scenery, and then... Oh, I, I hope I look Scandinavian tonight. I was trying to. For sure, yeah. No, we really wanted to... We've seen many smaller festivals, too, and we really wanted to try to help filmmakers get seen out there, get some articles and press because indie films needs to be heard and seen to be able to, to make it out there and, and it's need, still needed even if there's a few festivals in New York City. What we wanted to do different was to make this free so this year it's no tickets, it's all free entrance, all the screenings has been free. Well, I can't wait to see some of these films. I've heard so much about them and of course doing what I do I'm sure I'm going to be able to see many of them and I wish you much continued success with this. Now tell my audience where we could go to find out more information. What is the website? So the website is uh, nordicfilmfest.org where the schedule is the lineup, our official selection and all the news that's going to come up for the next year. Now also I also wanted to ask you how many films are we uh, were shown here at the Nordic Film Fest? We screened 22 films and we had 35 in our official selection and over 200 submissions. Now how many are we'll be giving out tonight? We're gonna be having 10 awards uh, plus five honorable mentions. Very nice. And tell my audience, we are guaranteed to get a few celebrities here tonight. Could you tell my audience who's hosting this event? Who's hosting for, uh, uh, well, Jacob, Jacob Aware from Boardwalk Empire will be hosting the award ceremony tonight. Yeah. Very nice. Well, thank you again. And tell my audience one more time the website. Uh, Nordicfilmfest.org. Break a leg, darling. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews right here on the red carpet. Keep watching. Pick champagne kiss. Hi guys, I'm Jacob A. Ware. I'm the master of ceremonies tonight. And um, he had this idea early on of creating this thing, which is NIF. And um, I love the name NIF. I love it. It's great. It's awesome. Um, it just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Yeah. Happy that you're hosting tonight's event. Can you tell my audience before we close the interview? Are you doing anything now? Are you working on anything else besides Boardwalk Empire? I am. Like right now, um, I'm actually in rehearsals for a stage show that goes up in December. Oh, I'll come and see you. Oh, it's going to be great. It's What's like, the name? It's called How to Get into Buildings. Hysterical. Will you share your hat with me? I love it. My style is Scottish. Macht die Augen zu. Welcome back, darling. 
friends, I'm Cognac Willa Lane. We're here at the Nordic International Film Festival. I'm here with this lovely actress who is a big supporter of the Nordic International Film Festival. Introduce yourself to the camera. Yeah, hello. My name is Charlotte Munk, and that, that is how it's said in Nordic, in, the, in, in Danish, where I'm from. Charlotte Munk, it would be internationally. Tell my audience about your film. I, I think it was being shown at the Cannes Film Festival. Am I right it, about that? It has been shown not at the Cannes, though, but uh, a lot of other film festivals. Uh, it has recently won a prize for best feature in Glasgow. Nice. Yeah, it's called Mehr Stille, and it's a it's a, a German movie that has. Uh, I mean, I'm Danish, and uh, also the composer who's right there, Nikolai Hess, is, uh, has contributed with uh, a Nordic um, a Nordic pulse and uh, Nordic influence. Yes, exactly, and. Uh, it's, it's a very hard film to talk about because it's uh, you you sort of reveal too much of the plot if you actually say too much. But it's a, it, I would say it's a movie about um, that you have to embrace everything, including your past. Oh, it sounds lovely. It is. What's the name of the film again? It's called Mere Stille, which is in in, in the, the international title is Silent Sea. Silent Sea. Yeah. Okay. If you want to learn more information, do you guys have a website for the movie? Definitely. Uh, it's called. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a great. It's called www.ulexfilm. It's J U L E X and then film and then .de. It's a German website. Yeah. And what about you, darling? Could you give me the spelling of your name, your yes. full name? Again, it's Charlotte, like C H A R L O T T E, and then my surname is M U N C K Monk. Website, a Facebook page. Actually, uh, I, I I am at, at my at my agency. Yeah, so it's a, it's Panorama Agency. Dot DK. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And break a leg. Thank you so much. We'll be back in a moment, dollies. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Cognac Walla Lane, and we're here at the Nordic International Film Festival. I'm here with this filmmaker who just did a film about Sandy. Introduce yourself to the camera. My name is uh, Ryan Carraway, and I'm an actor and director from New York. Tell my audience about this film that you just uh, produced and created. So, yeah, we made a film um, in the following months after Hurricane Sandy, about four months after, we shot it in a, in a house that was pretty much ravaged by the storm. So we slept in uh, in the main room of the house with cots and stuff, and uh, it was, you know, complete devastation. It was freezing, it was the winter, we had no insulation. All the actors and the uh, filmmakers were in their winter clothes, you know, sleeping in basically wanted to tell a story because a lot of the people in my neighborhood were still put out, you know, they still haven't moved back into their homes and they lost a lot and that was important for me to get across. It's devastating, isn't it, what happened? I hope it never happens again. I hope not either. No, absolutely. So how long did it take you to make this film? It took us, um, actually today will be three years exactly since we went into pre-production. So, and it took us uh, four months to shoot and then a year to edit. And then um, ever since then, we've been kind of submitting it to festivals and, you know, stuff like that. If you want to learn more information, do you guys
guys have a website? Yes, you can check out more at uh, byjingofilm.com or you spell that. Uh, B y j i n g o f i l m dot com or uh, ryancaraway dot com. Baby Productions, darlings.